last Thursday in yes. Iowa, of all places. But it was pretty cool. And I wasn't that into it before, he but it ended up being pretty awesome. It, 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 oh, look at that, man. The old that. uniforms coming out of the corn, oh, being introduced. Costner was there. Incredible. It was incredible. Big. It looked so beautiful. That sky was gorgeous. The place looked incredible. Fox did an incredible job yeah, broadcasting cool. that game. It was terrific. I loved every second of it. Well, even nine, though nine home runs I mean, in the corn field? I mean, it looked like for sure the wind, you know, the corn was blowing, yeah, blowing, uh, blowing right. it was yeah. blowing, <laughs> right. I was going, blowing to right field. Yeah. And, you know, I, 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 I wanted to leave Zach Britton in the corn. I tweeted that out. <laughs> uh, my Yankees but still won the series, went to Chicago, took yeah. the last two. Yeah, 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 you guys are playing well. I know. Um, I, I just thought it was terrific. I think, you know, if if it is feasible, they're going to do it every year. Well, no, I think they should have a, 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 series. a series there all year, like have a, have that as a home date for what your fifteen games. Oh, that oh. would be. You know, everybody plays a, a game in the corn. I, again, Ooh, I don't like know Thursday night football oh, kind of. Just like, yeah, sure, like Thursday night football. Oh wow, Ooh, I like that idea. You know, everybody plays a game in the corn. Yeah, that's dope. And and um, again, I just don't know Delicious. if it's feasible <clears throat> to keep that construct up. You know, that's obviously was created. Yeah, they built that ninth like 2019, then they canceled it. They kept. So, they kept I mean, it they, but so if you can keep it, it if you could keep the construct, uh, you know, up. You've got 30 major league baseball teams, 15 games, a 15 game schedule in the corn. I mean, that was do it. It was so cool, looking. you know, and so everybody can make a pilgrimage to the to this site. You know, different teams, all fan bases, go go see it. Wouldn't you want to plan if you you know? Oh, you know, uh, yeah. If the pandemic well, is not uh, in your if could, the balls are jumping out of the off no, the bat honestly, like that, safe, I mean, do it. Go seventeen runs. Wouldn't like you want to see that? Beautiful, run. incredible. It looked great. I want. I would love to go watch a game there. Like it would be of amazing. Course. It looked great. I mean, and, and so, um, you know, I I I think there should be other sports leagues that do something like this yeah. with an iconic sports movie or TV series. Like, there's other ways to do it. I, I, if I'm the NBA, I would, you know, what, would you play, like, create something in Rucker Park? Would you create, like, a, uh, a game in Rucker Park? Right? Or, or Chicago or the Venice Beach Courts down or, here. Or, or you could send, set up a, a game in... Um, wherever the gym is for for Hickory, right. from Hoosiers. I thought of another right? one where, where, where you put it, you put the players in old school uniforms, mm. and the the fans are directly right sitting there too. NHL All Star Game in Lake Placid. Whoa! Ba boom! Another I would go. So or, or wherever uh, Slapshot was filmed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or the Mighty Ducks Pond. That's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. choose a movie. Like what would the NFL be? Because you can't you can't have it in the longest yard, right? All right. right so right. where 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 would your NFL game be? I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, just trying to run. What you guys talked earlier games. before the show were the Little Giants. The little play? Giants I mean, played. Eh. I don't know. Remember remember the Titans? Sure, you could go to Alexandria. There's probably a you know high what school I mean? field I don't somewhere. Know. Or would you do Friday Night Lights and just do it at a ooh place in Texas, a high school Texas stadium? Texas. They got I mean, some big games on a Friday night after their series after I mean, their season's over or something like yeah, that. I mean, some of those like, stadiums hold those stadiums hold sixty thousand people. Out, yeah, I don't know. The football one might be tough. Baseball seems like the perfect one. Well, I mean, if 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 you're gonna hold a baseball game in a fictionalized uh, spot where players come out of the corn, and if you don't mind there being total fiction, you can have the football game in Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, you could have, you could have, coming. you could have it at Notre Dame. Walk I mean, if right as long as you're talking about well, fantasy, they made a movie about that school. Talking about fantasy, famous college in American football. right? And so if you I have mean, a basketball probably. game at Hoosiers, one team is going to only put four men on the floor at one point, right? <laughs> and then if you hold a football game in Notre Dame, they can carry off somebody. Somebody, no, somebody goes off sides. Oh, Jeez. then they carry them off. Five field. yard penalty. This is what we missed, Rich being this is gone. Exactly. For the last we did, few what are you talking about? We missed the, the shots at Notre shots Dame. Notre Dame man. Yes. Ohio State shots. Yes. Ohio State. We missed this, Rich. I don't, know, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just <laughs> spitting truth. You I'd can call them a firing shots. NBA game on in Venice. White man can't jump on that on the beach. Oh, cool. Like right there. That'd be cool as hell. Yeah, I said that. We I, don't said about, that. I don't know about the I wind. The wind might be a factor. We talked about the wind. 
<laughs> like, That's what Brockman. Hey, Brockman. Mike, like Sidney Dean but said, you got to imagine a country somebody, club. You somebody just, just your shots. you imagine somebody's just shooting? Somebody's just flipping channels. Somebody's just flipping channels. They just flipped in and heard Mike Del Tufo say, we talked about the wind. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's my weather. Well, they know so it's we weather, about Mike, the wind. right? You guys, we, no, 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 guys, guys, we talked about the wind. You're a weather guy, Mike. That makes sense. We talked about it, Mike. Right? We talked about the wind. I mean, I'm on wave. We're back. Great stuff, guys. We're back. The Minnesota quarterback, Kirk Cousins, perhaps you've heard of him. Yes. He has uh, some interesting uh, thoughts about what's going on, weeks ago. on in the country. Yep. This is from a couple weeks ago. So we're going to hear from Kurt, Kirk, and then we're going to get your reaction. Okay. So roll tape. I think the vaccination decision is a private, very private health matter for me, and I'm going to keep it as such. Um, uh, I do believe that as a leader of the team, it's very important uh, to follow the protocols to avoid this close contact because that is – that is what it's going to come down to is did you have a close contact and so i'm going to be vigilant about avoiding a close contact i've even thought about should i just set up literally plexiglass around where i sit so that this could never happen again um i thought about it because i'm going to do whatever it takes so um we're going to avoid this close contact thing and um and i uh, look forward to uh you know making sure i'm playing for every game this year okay so um, this was a big to do. Big to do because yeah, because he missed some time. No, like, I know that. Yeah. And and that and by the way, Michael Irvin um, predated this whole conversation by saying that if you don't get the vaccine, you're not trying to win. Right. And I agree. I agree. If you if, look, as I said at the very top of this program, based on my experience of getting COVID nineteen, okay, I don't know if I got it here at work or anywhere. I will never know where I got it. Right. I don't think I got it from here. I don't know where I got it. So Kirk Cousins saying that he was thinking of constructing some form of plexiglass bubble to prevent him from being a close contact at work is, you know, one way to potentially handle the situation at work. I don't believe you can walk around in a plexiglass bubble everywhere you go because you can get the virus from anywhere and potentially from anybody, most likely you will get it from somebody unvaccinated. And so when I saw that, I thought to myself that there is nothing more private and personal than somebody's health, period. Totally understand that and agree. Nothing more personal and private than that. But when it is a public health issue, if we get to the point where we don't have to pose these questions of people who are in the public eye and are such an important member of a city representing organization whose fans put many hopes and dreams and wishes into, if that person is not doing everything that he or she can to stay healthy, and says, I'm doing everything that I can to stay healthy, and it's to create plexiglass walls instead of, you know, taking the shot. It might absolutely ring thoroughly hollow and ridiculous to those who have had the shot, which is now, by the way, thank goodness, more than half of the country fully vaccinated. So... I thought those comments were ridiculous and I thought they were damaging. And I thought to myself, he sounds like somebody who's talking to people that are only those who surround him with the same sensibility. And it is a personal and private matter, but not when you're a public figure who's atop the flowchart of a team that could lose an entire season's worth of hopes and dreams for an entire team that's maybe vaccinated. That information is pertinent. Did you see what happened with Oklahoma and Texas a few weeks ago? So Oklahoma and Texas play in what's called the Big 12 Conference in college football. <laughs> I feel like you're a kindergarten teacher where you're showing you the entire book to the class as you're telling the story. They, they once were two big 12 teams. 
that have now left to go to the SEC. Yeah, they thought it would be a good idea for them to not play in the Big 12 anymore yes. and go over to play in the Southeast Conference, yes. Rich, where as we all know, it just means more. It just means it more. Does. So that has been voted and approved by, you guessed it, all 14 members <laughs> of the SEC. Uh, including Texas A&M, which isn't too happy about it, as we all know. Which is going to start in, what, a few years? But my guess is they're playing there next season. I don't know. There might be contractual obligations that they have to keep. Guess what fixes that? Hey, and you're already hearing the Big Ten and the Pac-12 and the ACC are getting together. Christopher, when the Super League happened across the pond, as I'm mandated to say, (laughs) as an American sports broadcaster, anything that happens over in the UK, it's got to be across the pond. When that Super League went down, and for the one day (laughs) that we were on the air with it looked like it was going to happen, What did I tell? What did I say on this show? Which sport is most likely to create their own Super League? College College football. football. (laughs) And we are seeing it. It is happening. Oklahoma and Texas leaving to go to the SEC is creating a Super League. There will be more. And if the Big Ten doesn't go and find some other partners to try and create their own Super League, what will prevent? Michigan and Ohio State from getting together and saying we're joining them. Yeah, exactly. And USC and UCLA telling the rest of the Pac-12 Bye-bye. we're joining them. And other teams, Clemson in the ACC, Miami from the Notre, ACC. Notre see it. Well, Notre Dame might actually still be fine doing what they're doing. You know, Maybe. where they could still play them, they could still be in their schedule. I don't I don't know how don't it's going to work cuz it's totally know. off the off the charts. I spoke to a lead pipe wielding sports executive. I cannot say if it's TV or in a, in a sport, or I will not say. Okay. I spoke to somebody who knows the business of sports. Asked this individual where this is all heading. I was told where this is eventually gonna all head if they don't stop, and it doesn't look like they're gonna stop. They're going to create their own Super League and go for the NCAA basketball tournament. This is where it's all going. Football is one thing. If you remember, this is the way it was described to me. The NIT used to be the, the thing. Yes. It used to be the big thing. When right. I was a kid. Until the NCAA kind of got, got in there and said, we're going to do our own thing. Now these teams are all going to get together. What if the SEC with Oklahoma and Texas, they get a bunch more in? Let's say they wind up doubling in size over the next 10 years. Suddenly, you're going to hold your own basketball tournament. Right. And then what? Now the NCAA tournament becomes the new version of the NIT. And they tell the NCAA, two birds, see ya. We're doing our own thing now. That's where this is all heading. And I heard that, and I'm like, wow. Mind, boom, blown. And... Well, who's to say this won't happen? Which is why the Big Ten's calling up the ACC and say, what do you think? And the Pac-12, what do you think? And you're like, how the hell is it going to work? Michigan's already flying to New Jersey, who's flying to Nebraska. Like, what's another two time zones? Michigan, USC, Ohio State versus Clemson? You're not going to watch that? You better watch out. If you don't do this, then suddenly the new SEC picks off a few more, and then all of a sudden it's going to be a gold rush of who's, who can get in. It's coming, and we smelled it yeah, out smelled when it the out super long, team long hit. A time ago. Well, like, let's talk about this a little bit. Like, what are they going to do? There's going to be a 32-team SEC? Why not? Or yeah, they just it's called the National Football League. With divisions. Right. Two, yeah. conferences, Two conferences. Four divisions. Division. Son. Wow. You're seeing it in professional it football right now. Yeah, the SEC is going to have 32 teams. What other football organization that pays people has 32 teams? And they're in control of it. All over the country where flights can happen. (sighs) Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 